Grubhub with the shot clock cheese, bro. So nobody kicked me offline in about like 30 seconds to a minute. And then they sent me this order which secured my spot online. So someone actually made a good, really good comment recently on one of my videos. They said, be careful with Grubhub if you don't do an order they will deactivate your account for inactivity. And here in NYC, the wait list for Grubhub and Uber Eats is, they're pretty much not accepting anybody else. Yeah, so if you haven't gone onto Uber or Grubhub yet in NYC, you're pretty much out of luck because ever since our mandates kicked in, they stopped, both those apps stopped accepting people. I know DoorDash claims that they're still hiring people, but who knows, who knows how that works. But anyway, six bucks to start. No, we do not need a map. So I'm gonna do the apps today just for lunch shift. So I gotta go to work later. We already got another order lined up. I think it was almost $6, like 0 0.01 mile. Yeah, it's the last video when I mentioned that I now have a part time. Some people were like, yo, you forgot to mention uh, what the job was. I'm like, no, I didn't. I did that on purpose. It's because if I tell you where, like, where I work, you would find where I work. That's it. That's the only reason. So I picked up the order right here and we're going right there across the street to go drop this off. And I already hear Grubhub ringing in my ears. Second Avenue, this way now. Second Avenue, going down, down this way. Yeah, uh, three blocks, I believe. All right, so I just <laughs> literally crossed the street. I'm waiting for him to come downstairs. And on the same block I was, just right over here, I'm about to go pick up another order to then walk down another block. I don't even have to ride my bike, bro. Close range deliveries are the best. All right, we had to wait maybe 10 minutes in there for that order, but it was fine. I'm chilling, bro. Oh, my fault. Y'all staring at the floor. We're going down two blocks. Can you believe I didn't do this to the bag? That's how they gave me the bag. All crumpled up. <laughs> what a respect for the delivery orders, bro. But I got another order, bro. And guess what? It's on the same block I'm just delivering to. The Chick-fil-A, like five feet away from me. I, this never happens. Like all my pickups being in the same area, never. This hasn't happened since like pandemic times. All right. Thank you. Craig? Yeah. Can you show me what we're trying to do with the tea Okay, so let's see the beverage now. So Just delivered that order and bro hooked me up with an extra five bucks. Um, let's see, where are we going now? Dunkin' Donuts. It's on 20, 26th in Park Avenue. It's actually right behind me. It's gonna come around here. I said Park Ave, I'm in Third Ave. I never understand why bikers go so close to pedestrians. First of all, you're being a dickhead. That's should have thought. Second of all, these pedestrians are jumpy as hell. You never know when they're gonna see you and panic and do a backflip into you. I never trust it. Always go far away from them as possible. 
Anytime I'm making a maneuver, I always try to make sure like they have no idea I'm there. Just for that reason, they might panic and do something stupid. But anyway, let's go to Duncan. Having a good day today. Well, for the first time, employee actually asked me, why do I have the GoPro? That never, I remember when I first started like recording, I thought this was gonna be, this, it was gonna happen a lot. Because when I watch other people with like GoPros or any type of any type of cameras, they, they always ask. But here in New York, it's different. Nobody gives a shit what you do. But he asked me, and I was just being honest. I was like, it's for YouTube, bro. You know, actually, I used to have like a whole little little joke that I was gonna do when if if people ask me what's a GoPro for, I was gonna lie and be like, oh, it's for OnlyFans, get a little laugh out of it. But since it never happened, I forgot about that shit. But after I dropped this off, I got my first shitty order to go do. They sent me a three dollar order. I'm gonna do it because it's grub up and they're gonna kick me offline if I don't. Well, I think it's if you decline three, but sometimes they do it on two, so I don't know. Hey, it's a delivery. It says to call when I'm here. Hi. Oh, there you go. Have a good day. When people tell me to call when they're there, even if it's like a house or something, I always mention that they told me to call. Because I remember before, like some people would put notes and it'll say like, oh, call when you arrive. And then you call when you arrive. And then they're looking at you like you're dumb. They're like, oh, what? they're like, why are you calling me? Anyway, let's go pick up this bullshit ass $3 order. It had to, it happened. I think I jinxed myself when I said I was having a good day. The only thing worse than a bullshit ass order is having to wait for a bullshit ass order. But luckily that wasn't me today. That shit was ready when I walked in there. Now this guy in there, however, owner of this bike, he's pissed. You could see it on his face. So when he walked in and saw that my order was ready, he was like, he was like a son of a bitch. So at this place, somebody come down and they collect it. And I remember because they gave me the wrong. Hi, this is for the eighth floor. Thank you. We just picked up a Dos Toros order. So I was in there. They were ignoring me as per usual. So I started checking the rack myself because the orders were sitting on the counter. And of course, the minute I did that, they, that's when they decide, oh, they want to ask me, oh, what's the name? I'm like, bro, there's like six of y'all in here. All ignoring me until I started looking at the orders myself. called him and he's on his way down i got a questionable order to go do after this i don't know if i want to do it it's kind of far four miles 13 dollars this is an uber eats order right there four miles for 13 bucks i'm debating if i should just on a sign them hi here for elizabeth i'm actually gonna unassign the first one not only did I, is it the furthest order, it's also the one taken a while. She told me five minutes. I checked, I'm like, I bet you this is the further order. It's the further distance order. I'm just gonna go do the other one. So this other order I'm about to go get, it's a Mercado order, so it's a grocery order. But I checked and it was nothing heavy. Thank you. The other order I canceled was the further order. It's funny because after I left, I noticed on my phone, they sent me a notification 
seeing the order was ready, I'm like, yeah, it's too late for that. <laughs> but even though I canceled it, I still got to go far as fuck. Just tried calling, they didn't respond, so I'm gonna text them. Hi, this is Delivery, I am downstairs. Voice to text for the win again. Oh my God. Waiting for my customer to come down and look at this entire sidewalk, right? Empty. Wabro, Wabro pull up right here, had to squeeze in to park his bike next to me. And if these things happen like once in a while, it wouldn't be so annoying, but they do this every time. If you had to squeeze to fit, you don't fit. There's a whole sidewalk. Cause I, you got Jesse? Uh, Jesse H. Jesse H. Thank you. Thank you. This predicament. I was trying to cross at the crosswalk, and the light changed mid fucking. <laughs> it changed mid. Me in the middle of the street. The light's like, oh yeah, let's let's switch over. I got stuck. I believe after this, I'm going to call it quits for the shift. Depends, we'll see. There is something I want to pick up. A little upgrade to my bike. Bro, why do y'all always come right next to me? Like, move the fuck away from me. Jesus Christ, man. Every time I turn around, there's another fucking dude right, this, right next to me. Breathing my air. The entire street is empty. Stop coming next to me like like it's not even that they're next to you it's that they're so close but i just dropped off that order i actually got another double i'm gonna do it and then i turned i toggled unavailable my plan is if the store have what i need i want it's gonna take a while installing that on my bike probably like two hours well, it depends. Like an hour or two. I remember last time there was a little issue getting it onto my bike itself. So we'll see. I don't. I want all the time needed because I do want to take a freaking nap before I go to work later, bro. I'm tired of shit. First week. Mainly because I didn't sleep. All right, so we just picked up this both orders. The first one's actually really close, and then the second one maybe like a, it looks far on the map, but it's not. Building used to have. A delivery rack? I'm gonna see if it's still there. Alright. Yeah, is it still here? The rack? Yeah, right. Alright. Alright, cool, they still got it. Which one is this? Chipotle. Bro, I'm really tired of taking service elevators. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today. We're ending with $74.75. I got online on Grubhub around like 11.15, 11.20, and the time is currently 2.15 p.m. I would keep going, but it looked like it's about to rain. Plus, I want to go to the store, see if they have it. Oh yeah, the thing I was talking about was a battery. I want a smaller, smaller battery. Cause what I'm planning on doing, like the days I work my part-time, since I work at night, I could just work all day through and still have enough battery to, to ride home. Cause ain't nobody trying to take the train at like 12 o'clock at night, bro. Ain't nobody trying to do that. So that's what I'm gonna need a small battery for. Either that, I could just charge my shit at my job. I doubt that would mind. Anyway, that's gonna do it. See y'all next time.